Hi everyone, this is the third video in the series of recordings about quantitative risk analysis in ATRIS. In the previous uh, videos, I covered how to develop your uh, model logic. And in the second video, I showed you how to define outputs and inputs for your model. In this video, which is the third one, I will demonstrate how to set the number of iterations and how to run the simulation. Let's come back to our Excel worksheet. As you see, the logic of the model uh, in step one completed. We define outputs in step two and inputs in step three. Now we are in step four, set the number of iterations for simulation. In the menu bar, there is this part uh, about different settings for simulation and the first important setting is number of iterations. By default, it is set to 100 times and it is basically number of different scenarios that at risk analyzes in a Monte Carlo simulation. So the more is the number of iterations you select, the more accurate the result of simulation. For common models like this, I will suggest something between 1,000 to 5,000 iterations for an accurate answer. Let's go for 2,000 iterations for this uh, particular model. So I can set it to 2,000. Okay. Another important setting in uh, at risk for simulation is the static or random calculation of values. As you will see in this screen, all the values are the most likely values that we entered uh, when we developed the model logic. But uh, for example, have a look on this uh, set of uh, cost. It is $250,000 which is the static value or the most likely value. This is deterministic and not a result of simulation. When you click on this dice button in the menu bar, it changes the static mode to random mode. So let's do that and have a look on 250K and see how it changes. Now it is 256, uh, almost $256,000. So these are random values that uh, at risk has selected based on the tri triangular distribution that we defined for setup cost in uh, previous steps. When you press the dice button again, it returns to a static mode and we can see the original value. So having this uh, option on or off doesn't change the result of simulation. But uh, it is a good uh, visual help uh, to see uh, some random values for your uh, uncertain inputs. Now we have set the number of iterations and step 4 is complete. It is time to uh, run the simulation in step 5. It is a very quick step and we just need to press start simulation button in the menu bar. It takes some time and now the simulation is completed. So whatever cell you select in the Excel worksheet, you can see the result in uh, the result window. For example, uh, now we can see uh, simulation results for setup cost. And you can uh, select NPV1, which is an output, and it is important for us to see the simulation results. The same thing is for internal rate of return. So you can select uh, internal rate of return to uh, find out the simulation results for that one. These are for project one. For project two, we have the same story, and we can select any of the values NPV2 or IRR2. So we have seen the results now. 
in the next video i will show you how to uh, analyze these results and uh, make an informed decision about uh, these investment projects thank you for your attention